What's up guys? My name is Natalie and welcome to my nook of novels. Today, well, we're not really in my nook of novels, but welcome to a new video. So this is my July reading vlog. I feel like this angle is really weird. You have like just my head in the shot. I look like I have no body. I'm just a head. So let me start off by telling you guys what I'm currently reading. It's kind of a lot of things, honestly, because for June, I was reading both the Atlas Six and the Poet X for what's it called? Whatever thon. But I had to put both of them down to to prioritize the things that I was reading for my Wheel of TBR, but I didn't end up finishing that, so I still am also currently reading The Scorch Trials, and I am buddy reading The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon, so I'm still in the middle of this one as well. I have a couple things that I probably need to pick up even before I continue with this, even though I'm really close to the end, but for a video, I really need to read Win by Victoria Laurie, so these are probably going to be the first things that I read just so that I can get them back to the library library and then I need to read this as well. For my prompts for my July We Live TBR, I'm definitely going to be cheating some of them because I'm not really planning on prioritizing reading a lot throughout the month of July because I have a lot of other stuff that I need to get done this month. So one of the prompts is a used book and what I kind of generally have in mind for that usually is a book that I bought from a used bookstore but I could also just use a library book for that because obviously that is kind of a used book so I probably will do that. And also, since I was in the middle of these already, normally I would not use something that I was already reading for those prompts, but I think that I will anyway. So I probably will use this for the used book prompt and then this one for a blurbed book. The forward title prompt. I am actually going to use a webtoon, I think, for that one because I completely forgot that I was even in the middle of it. But it's My Giant Nerd Boyfriend and I've literally been meaning to finish that for forever and haven't had the chance. The only other thing that I have to tell you guys for right now is that I got these clear sticky notes and I'm super excited about them because I've been wanting to annotate my books. I actually annotated autobiography and just wrote in it which is really fun but I don't think that I want to be writing in all of my books sometimes I see a quote or whatever and I'm like oh I want to underline that but I don't want to actually write in the book to do that so hopefully I can get some use out of these also I finished today an audiobook I finished listening to the nobleman's guide to scandal and shipwrecks by Mackenzie Lee which was pretty good and I counted that for my whatever thon for last month just because I was so close to the end anyway because it was literally the last prompt that I needed for the bingo board so I was like it'll be okay I will catch you guys later. Hey guys, you can't see me very well and I don't know if you can hear me very well either. I'm outside right now. I had to turn on my phone's flashlight so you could even, there's fireworks, so you can even see me for this clip. It's the 3rd of July, which is why there's a bunch of fireworks going off. So pardon the noise in the background, but I'm outside right now because I was just reading on my back porch earlier and watching some fireworks. I've been wanting for a while to sleep outside and so that's what I'm doing now just because I can. It seemed like an adventurous activity and I consider myself an adventurous person. <laughs> I read yesterday Amber and All the Bright by Jason Reynolds and it took me like 20 minutes to read the whole thing so that was good. I really enjoyed that one. I gave it four stars. I don't have too much to say about it because there wasn't a lot in it. It was very poetic. I'm reading The Poet X now which again <laughs> more poetry are we seeing a theme here but i'm about halfway through it and i plan on finishing it tonight hopefully and then maybe reading more of the atlas six before i fall asleep but we shall see i'm vibing enjoying myself the plan is to just like spend the whole night out here and then go back in at some point uh tomorrow but we shall see how it goes hey guys so it's about 6 45 in the morning ish this was fun i finished the poet x last night and it was pretty good i think i'm gonna give it three and a half stars it was definitely very enjoyable i just i didn't have like a major like connection with it or anything just because like the romance was just not extremely well developed i think i still did really enjoy it and like the message is definitely very good a conclusion that i reached about the outdoors is that everything is wet <laughs> i checked the weather to make sure it wasn't supposed to rain or anything and it didn't but there's just so much condensation on everything literally the blankets beside me are soaked i had to get a ziploc bag to put my phone in and everything because i was like i'm scared that it's not gonna work anymore i put my library books under a blanket so that they don't get wet either I would recommend maybe i don't know <laughs> surprisingly there weren't too many bugs especially like even though i had my reading light on there weren't a bunch of bugs bothering me 
but I did put bug spray on. So yeah, that's really all I have to say. Um, the book was good. I am going to be reading the Atlas 6 next. I would also like to mention that I started watching the Looking for Alaska TV show, and I'm obsessed with it. It matches with the book so well, and I think the cast is absolutely amazing, and they just fit the characters amazingly. Chef's kiss. Hi guys, today's the 13th. I keep meaning to update you guys, and then I just completely forget and don't do it, but I am here now to give you guys an update. I have finished another book since then. I finally read Win. It's literally all the way in my hallway. I'm not going to go get it, but I ended up listening to the audiobook for that one, which is different for me because I normally do not listen to audiobooks that much because I just get distracted so easily, but I became obsessed with working on this one puzzle that we have. It's a thousand piece puzzle and literally has been taking me forever. I'm still not done with it yet, but I listened to that whole audiobook while I was working on that and it was really, really good. I enjoyed it quite a bit and I'm so excited to finally have that completed and be able to film the video that I need to do now. So that's exciting. That being said, I am still in the middle of the Atlas 6. I am three-fifths through it. Still, I have not really read a lot of this. I've just not really been in the mood for it, but I've also started my punishment book, which is The Firm by John Grisham. I'm really enjoying this one so far. I'm only on page 22. However, I'm loving the vibes. It's giving secret society-esque sort of stuff. It's about this tiny law firm who basically just recruit only the best people in the world basically and so they have found this perfect candidate to join the firm and he's so excited to be joining because they pay a lot of money but it kind of seems like they are hiding a lot of stuff and they definitely have some questionable morals so i'm excited to see what happens with all of that but i'm actually enjoying this one quite a bit so far and then i also started les mis uh, again that's not what this is obviously called but i don't know how to pronounce it but um yeah i'm on chapter three i've only read a teeny tiny bit of it but i have enjoyed what i've read so far basically nothing has really happened so far besides like being introduced to characters in that one so i can not even tell you what it's about or anything. Still reading The Power of the Orange Tree. I'm about halfway through right now. I actually haven't read any of this in a bit and I need to find out how far I'm supposed to be into it because I'm buddy reading this with Sarah from A Crook with a Book. I'm definitely enjoying this one quite a bit. I've been listening to the audiobook for this as well. I'm still technically reading The Scorch Trials but I haven't actually read any of this since the end of June so we'll see when I pick it up again and finish it. And then I've also been reading this to one of my friends. So that's all for now but I will We'll talk to you guys later. Hi guys, tis Thursday the 14th and fun fact, I used to be obsessed with making rainbow loom creation things. Not necessarily bracelets, but I would just make like animals and stuff out of rainbow loom bands. I have decided to do that once more. Just like these types of things, making things out of rainbow loom bands was a thing that I did very often. I feel like I just said the word thing so many times in that sentence, but anyway. I'm about to make a happy mushroom by feeling spiffy. Update time. I finished Mr. Mushroom and he's adorable. He didn't take me like an insanely large amount of time. I'm happy with him. Mr. Mushroom also glows in the dark in case any of you were wondering. You probably can't even tell, but he does. <laughs> Hi guys, so today is the 16th and I have not done a lot of reading related updates for y'all at all in this vlog, but I really haven't been reading that much because I've just had so much other stuff that I needed to do that I haven't really focused on reading a lot, but I definitely do plan on reading a little bit more once I get some of the other things done. I do have some exciting news. I don't know if I really have mentioned at all on this channel before, but I write poetry. I've been trying to put a collection together and I finally am happy with what I have so far. I have a decent number of poems in it now and I have organized them the way that I want them. I am looking at trying to get that published maybe possibly. I haven't done anything yet to try to get that to happen but that is a thing that I'm going to be trying to do in the near future so yeah that's gonna be exciting. I've not done very much reading at all. I listened to a little bit more of The Priory of the Orange Tree while I was doing the puzzle yesterday i forgot to mention but i also watched the maze runner movie which is exciting i didn't like it as much as the book i feel like it seems very rushed in the movie and everything kind of happens all at once whereas the book feels paced better it was still enjoyable and i'm glad that i finally had the chance to watch that hi guys so i'm not sure what day it is but i just finished filming my three similar books video yeah i've edited about half of my mid-year freak out tag as well which i filmed 
yesterday, I got a little bit further into the Atlas 6. I'm still not really vibing with the writing style at first. At the very start of the book, I thought that I really liked the writing style because it kind of is almost the writing style that I really, really enjoy, but it's just not. It just feels like the author is trying too hard to be fancy. It doesn't mesh well with me and I'm not a huge fan. So right now, I'm thinking that I'm probably going to give it a three stars, but we will see if it gets any better. I'm still trudging along. As of right now, I still don't think that I'm going to be getting through my July TBR, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. I'm just trying to get through all the books that I'm currently reading because it's so many. I'm not a person who normally is currently reading a lot of things at once, so it's kind of stressful. That's all though for now, so I will talk to you guys in a bit. Bye-bye. Hi guys, so today's the 20th and I had my whole day planned out already. I was going to do some more math and read some more of the Alice 6 and edit a video that needs to go up soon, but these rubber bands came in today and I have been waiting on those so that I can make something and I kind of want to just throw all my other plans out the window and just go ahead and start making that. I'm not sure if I will or not yet though. In terms of my reading experience, during the Atlas 6. I'm really not enjoying it, honestly. I probably am sitting at about a two and a half stars right now because it's just boring me quite a bit because the writing style is fine, I guess, and the plot is very flat. It doesn't really feel like there's much happening. They're kind of just sitting around contemplating their life and what big decision they're going to make, and there's like a little bit of subplot happening, but I don't really care about it that much. And I'm not particularly attached to any of the characters either. So hopefully I will finish that in the next few days or so so that I can bring it back to the library and finally have completed it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do today yet, but stay tuned. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this book. I don't know how well you can hear me because there's like the air thingy going over there and it's kind of loud, but oh my gosh. The part that I just read was actually really good and I was enjoying most of it. There was only like a couple pages that I was like, this is dragging. I just want to skip through it. I literally don't know how to feel because there's like parts of it where I just hate and I'm like, this is taking forever to pick up the pace. And then there's parts where I'm like, this is so poetic and this is so good. It's not even really that it switches with perspective. It just, when different things are happening and things are just described different ways, it's just a different reading experience and it just feels like it bounces around a lot. We'll see how it ends and how I'm feeling by the time I'm done with it. So, yeah. I just went on the trip of a lifetime. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feared for my life multiple times and I was so sick of seeing mountains. I have lost my mind. I smell atrocious. I haven't showered in days. It was so fun because I literally could not stop laughing. We had this pizza and then we were acting literally crazy. So we were like, did they put drugs on our pizza? We'll never know. But 
I finished The Atlas Six. Solid two stars. I'm reading The Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green and I'm enjoying it. And it's now making me want to rate literally everything because he's just rating things in life, I guess. And it's funny. I love my house. I'm so happy to be home. I literally kissed my bedroom wall. So yeah. Anyway, hey guys, so I just wanted to wrap up this vlog real quick. I've made a little bit more progress in The Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green. I'm now on page 67, so I am making my way through this one. And then after this, I'm going to be reading Long Way Down and The Long Way Down Graphic Novel by Jason Reynolds. I also finished the dinosaur that I was making yesterday. I will show you guys that. It took me absolutely forever to finish, but I finally did it. That's kind of what I've been spending most of my time doing these last few days, but that's really all. Sorry I haven't done a ton of reading this month, but I've just had so much other stuff that I had to do. But do let me know in the comments down below what types of things that you guys like to see in vlogs, because like I know I personally, whenever I watch vlogs, I really like to see other of their life aspects aside from reading, if that makes sense, and also just seeing people make progress in books and montages just makes me more motivated to actually read myself so just let me know what types of things that you guys want to see in vlogs and I can try to make that happen for you guys but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did then please hit the like button and subscribe if you would like to and hit the notification bell if you would like to see the other videos that I post on Tuesdays comment down below like I said what you want to see in reading vlogs and your favorite thing that you read in the month of July thank you guys so much for watching my bookstagram and goodreads will be linked in the description if you guys would like to check out either of those and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!